Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back and thanks for tuning in. We are headed to the Highlands National Park today, which is an absolute beautiful spot. It's a wicked day out, broiling hot. So with that being said, enjoy the ride. And when we get there, talk to you later. Peace. Peace. Hey guys, we are finally here. We are in the Cape Breton Highlands National Park and this is the start of the Skyline Trail. There's a little map. I believe it's roughly, I don't know, hour and a half, two hour hike up here. And you can see there are all kinds of animal warnings, bears, coyotes. You might even see a moose out here. But look at the people, guys. There are probably a hundred people or more here today. And it's a, a really popular hike. And it's one I've been wanting to do for quite some time now and just never got around to it. Three hours we've been on the road to get here. Three hours. Now, if we can get Pokey 1 and Pokey 2 to walk a little fast, it won't take two hours to hike here. we got the little guy with us. Taking him up the mountain. You going up the mountain? Yeah. Did you have a nice fun drive? Was it long? Yeah, and he wanted the window up in the car to scorch us out. It's like 30, 30 plus degrees out. Probably close to 40 today. We're in the middle of a week-long heat wave. Little breezy, as you can see, guys. Now, when we get up the top here, we should have an amazing view of all over the highlands. So once we get up here so far, it's supposedly boardwalk up the mountain. We parked at the very end, closest to the trail. I didn't want to park way out at the start. It would have been about a, I don't know, maybe a quarter mile walk before you even hook the trail here. So. Looks like we got another little right up here, some picnic tables, some shelter. And the start of the boardwalk. Here you go guys. Check it out. Bears in the area. Got moose. So this is what we're going up, I'd imagine. You can see the uh, Cabot Trail and out over the coast. So beautiful. So you can see if you see an animal, don't run. Slowly back away, act big, fight back. Let's go. No dogs allowed here. 
no drones allowed. Um, I, I tried guys multiple times to deal with the people that run this park and tried to get in here to fly a drone, but they won't allow it. Uh, they tell me that it's not allowed this year for anybody other than media, but I don't believe that because uh, I know another channel that get in here last year or so and done that. So you guys probably won't see every bit of this because the video will drag out that long and uh, it'll be like an hour or two video. So I'm going to have to edit this up, cut so much out. I'm actually probably going to stop filming here soon because I only have three batteries left. I burnt that many batteries, guys, in my other two GoPros on top of the car. I think I had eight to start with, and I've only got three left. That's including the one in this camera right now. So, I doubt I'm going to be able to film every single bit of this trail. I'm going to have to stop and, uh, you know, start up every now and then. So, that's what it is, guys. That's what it is. Can you hear him back there still hollering to me? Kevin. Kevin. You're enough to drive somebody to drink. Could you hear him, guys? Over here, wait. Okay, guys, so we just passed a little information, uh, a little stand, like what was at the start. And uh, the trail splits off into two ways, left and right. So we took the left, which up here there are three close look-offs. And if we had to took the uh, fork on the right, it's a much, much longer walk before you hit the first look off. So it was a little right up like this here, but it was a map showing, showing what's coming up. So we'll, we'll probably do the first three look offs and then turn around and head home because there's just, it's just so long of a trail, right? So there you go. Just, a look out for moose which you will see up here you just may you've got a really good chance of seeing them you can see it's a very well groomed trail very well so awesome spot to hike if you're an avid outdoors person you really want to come and do this hike. Why you're driving me nuts, what? What do you want? What did she do to you? What? She crashed you? No way. You might see a moose, you might see a bear, you might even see a coyote. We're gonna go to the look off and look out over the, over the ocean and, uh, and the highlands, and then we're gonna go home. So check it out guys. It's all mountains and valleys, as far as you can see. I'm gonna bench to take a break. That's another nice thing there. We've hit the one kilometer mark. So we're now one kilometer in. Where did the trees go? We seem strange to leave a thick forest path, enter large grassy fields. Where did all the trees go? The answer is quite simple. Our neighborhood moose are eating them. Wow, that's why there are bare fields. 
Yeah, we've got a nice look off out here, guys. You can see. So they have gates here. You have to open and close the gates. Thank you. Come on. Please close the gate behind you. And we're going to go to this look off. And we'll go to the one down the point. That looks awesome down there. See down there, guys? There's a point down there. You can see way out over. That's probably where we'll stop this hike. Show you what we have in these woods. This is a boreal forest. So we've got snow hare, snowshoe hare, American red squirrel, a gray jay, twin flowers. We've got a lynx. I believe that's a mink. Oh, it's a marten. Looks like a mink. It's a marten up here and have a quick look then we're gonna head down to the next one yeah this is nice very well built check that out all big bolts pressure treated lumber it's pretty windy up here Check that out. There's your view. Let's go back to the roadway. Nice day, guys. This is what it's about. Okay, I'll catch you guys right back. I'm gonna uh, get my camera out, get a couple of snapshots here. Okay guys, we just left the first tower. There's another little right up here, how you can stop our boreal forest from disappearing. And it's, they gated it, as you can see here. Sorry about my cigarette in the way. So we've got a big, huge, it's like a 12 foot or so fence going all the way around this bear patch so everything can grow inside again. As I said earlier at the last sign, the moose are eating the trees. And that's how you end up with that big field back there. So there you can see it's fenced here again. This is the other side. And it tells you to uh, close the gate. This is to keep the animals out so they don't eat what's left in here. Thank you. Moose exclosure, it's called. Please close the gate behind you. Just like so. Because that's pretty high that a moose couldn't jump that. There, probably. I hear a vehicle. I guess the highway runs right down here. Right where I'm pointing the camera now, guys. So I can hear a, a Harley or something going along the road down here. Beautiful spot, guys. Beautiful. Highly recommend to come and hike this one. You guys can see we've got a little fellow with us, so, and that's not the only small child here. We've seen another one when we were up on that platform. Uh, the girl was walking ahead of us here just, uh, I don't know, five minutes ago. She's actually just up ahead a bit. 
I've got to wait for them a bit. They're getting behind. And besides, I need a drink, so I'm going to stop here anyway. We're a little under half a battery. And I'll start up again when we get up a little further. See you guys. Okay, guys, you can now see it turns to a boardwalk. And then it go, it's about to go gravel again up here. The boardwalk is a little bouncy in places and it's kind of lopsided as you're coming around some of the turns. But it's still nice. It's nicer on the feet. There we go. Oh, nice and cool in here. Very cool in here. Don't get so much of the heat. Nice and shaded. So I had to shut down for a minute just to cool my GoPro off anyway. It's too hot out here. What? What are you saying? Look at Pokey Laura back there. Pokey Laura is way back there. She's going to get eaten by a bear. There's bears in here, yes there is. There's bears, coyotes, uh, lynx, which is a cat, big cat. There's moose, there's deer. I think we're coming close to the end here. The look off looks like it kind of opens up over here. Hopefully. Looks like there's one right here. Yeah, there is. We'll check this one out. Oh, yeah, you can see the. Uh, well, remember when we were driving and we could see people? See part of the cabin trail. Where now those people? There you go, guys. Check that out. Isn't that nice? Awesome. It would be great to throw a drone up here, but can't do it. Absolutely beautiful. See way down there. Well, that is amazing, guys. This is what the hike is about. So I'll try and get you guys a view that way see way out uh, he wants to see he's getting cranky on me look see now you see you like that is yeah. it cool do you like that how's it look are you happy that you came huh say thank you kevin, thank you, kevin. Wait. yeah there's yeah, cars, cars down there that's where we're going when we leave here. We'll drive that way. Drive that way? Yeah. And if we're good, we'll see how much money Laura got left and we might get a treat. So you like it here? Yeah. Yeah? It's a nice park? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, guys, I'm going to stop here. I'm running low on battery. Yeah. I'm going to get a few okay. pictures with uh, What's wrong? the Nikon camera okay. and I'll catch you guys back. I think we'll do the next Here's one and then we're getting out of here. Peace out. Okay guys, left the second look off on our way to the third and then we're getting out of here. <laughs> Listen to that. What? There's a washroom if you need it. Right there. There Laura, there's a little outhouse for you. So there you, uh, you do get out houses in here. Um, it showed on the map that the third look off isn't too far away from the second one. Yeah, it's right here. Uh, no, actually, it's not right here. Can go over that way. The only place that grows in Cape Breton. 
So we got another map here. There you go. I guess we are here now. Huh. Protects us ridge is an example of one of Boreal headland. Meeting place where global winds and ocean currents converge on mountain rock, nurturing life as rare as golden heather. Fragile looking golden heather grows on most severe windswept sites and headlands. Okay. Skyline headland restricted area required by law to stay on the boardwalk to protect the sensitive habitat for safety restoration underway. No drones allowed. All regulations will be strictly enforced. Fines start at approximately $238. Wind gusts may exceed 200 kilometers an hour, guys. 200 kilometers an hour. Yeah, we're almost to the last one now. <coughs> well, it's not the last one. There, if you go the other way there, which I just passed, there are more lookoffs. But this is as far as we're coming. Uh, we're over, we're probably close to a three kilometer hike now. But man, this one is absolutely breathtaking, guys. And uh, reach up to 200 kilometer an hour winds here. Oh, check that out. Danger steep cliff. Required by law to stay on the boardwalk at all times. Even though there are little trails here, it's not recommended to walk off the boardwalk onto those. Uh, if you guys could see this with the naked eye, the color out there looks much bluer. And there's a real haze on, to on top of the water. It would be amazing to get a drone shot here, guys, but it's just not allowed. Would be absolutely amazing to put one up here. So check it out. Absolutely awesome down to this one before I run out of battery. Absolutely beautiful spot. Check that out. Amazing guys. Amazing. You can see that fog rolling in. I don't know if the camera will pick it up very good. But it's all coming in the valley here. So glad we came when we did because any later and you probably wouldn't see us. And you can see way out for miles. Amazing. And Laura and uh, Karen are still way up there. I don't think they're going to come down this far. The boardwalk goes down, down to here, so you can walk all the way down there. But this is as far as I'm going. I'll probably never come here again, so glad I got to see it. There's one place knocked off of the list. Awesome place, guys. Awesome place. Beautiful here. Wicked breeze. It was so hot to get in here, and now this breeze will just cool you off. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed today's hike. If you're new to the channel, guys, please subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, all that good stuff, and, uh, Catch you in the next one. Peace.